There are two parts of the Bible where you can take a look at the temptations of Jesus. You can look at Matthew 4 and you can look in Luke 4. And there's one point where the devil actually takes Jesus up to the top of the temple. He's trying to get him to bow down to him and he's trying to get him to follow Satan. And yet Jesus stands tall. Did you know that Jesus had a half-brother by the name of James? And the reason I say half-brother is because James had an earthly father. James being his half-brother, he grew up with Jesus. And think about that for a second, if you have a brother. Would you believe that your brother was the Messiah? That'd probably be a little bit tough to go through. And yet here is James at the end of his life, and he had the opportunity to choose to believe or to not believe. Now, I want you to read those accounts in Matthew 4 and in Luke 4, because I want you to think about the temple and where he was. Because James had the opportunity to bow down to this world, and he chose not to. And they took him to the southeast side of the temple from the very top, the very same temple that Jesus was taken to by Satan. This is over a hundred foot fall and they tossed him off the side of it. They tossed him toward Jerusalem. Why? Because he would not deny his faith. Why would he not deny his faith? Because he couldn't deny it. Because everything made sense. Because everything added up. Because there was no other answer at the end. And because the one thing that he could turn to eternally was his own half-brother, the Messiah, Jesus Christ. Think about that, because that's a huge step, a huge step of faith that he was willing to take. How big of a step of faith are we willing to take for that same Messiah? We'll see you tomorrow.